Hi, my uh, garage door opener series chain drive uh, would, uh, would not open anymore. Uh, the main gear on it is worn. Uh, you can replace it yourself uh, if uh, you installed it yourself to begin with. Uh, you'll probably be able to do it, but uh, you'll be working on the ladder or if you choose to take it down, uh, you still have to stand on the ladder, so you have to be very careful. Make sure you unplug the uh, unit. Um, the gear is worn and it looks like this. Uh, I got some good tips on uh, ordering the replacement parts and and the installation from Amazon when I look at the reviews on uh, the replacement parts uh, for this unit. Uh, I chose to uh, replace the whole uh, gear with the shaft instead of just replacing the gear. It's about $25 but I think it's uh, easier because you'd be taking the whole thing out and just dropping it in. Uh, the biggest tip I can give you is to uh, unscrew that uh, circuit board on the left, that lo logic board, and leave it hanging. That way you ha would have room to uh, unscrew the three screws at the top that holds the uh, the sprocket and the gear. You would also have to uh, remove the nylon gear at the bottom of the screen there. There's a little uh, thingy that uh, holds the clip in place. Uh, that small gear and you just uh, detach it and after unscrewing the three big screws uh, at the top, that's one of the screws, you can uh, lift the whole thing up and then drop the new one in. But of course, uh, you would have to uh, loosen your chain. Now that's the, uh, the small gear and if you were to replace a whole unit, all you have to do is to unclip the bottom uh, clip to that small gear there. Uh, I had to replace the whole circuit board too because uh, um, I was uh, not careful and uh, I shorted out this circuit board and I had to order one online uh, from um, eBay. It's about twenty dollars. So uh, if you have a small ratchet wrench uh, like this uh, it's easier to replace. I mean uh, to take off that uh, screw uh, the three screws that I was talking about, you would have to, of course, loosen the uh, the chain uh, before you can take the uh, thing off. Now the replacement uh, sprocket and the uh, the pulley uh, itself uh, is not easy. I mean, it's not difficult to replace, but you have to remember to tap the screws. Uh, somehow the replacement unit uh, threads are not uh, there so you would have to use your screws to to tap it otherwise you would have a hard time putting it back in then after that it's just a matter of uh, connecting your wires back I would recommend uh, taking a lot of uh, digital photos so you know what you did and try not to uh, uh, adjust these uh, uh, up or down limit unless you have to um, and then uh, after that uh, you know the thing should work and uh, you would save yourself uh, a few hundred